Hey folks, Hal Sherliff here with Camp Constitution, and we are in Holliston, Massachusetts, which is west of Boston, kind of a nice little town with a lot of history, including uh, Casey at the Bat. And here's a statue of Casey, and at campfire every year, we usually recite the poem, Casey at the Bat. It's a little bit longer than that, but I'm just going to read the history here. Oh, somewhere in this favorite land, the sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light. And somewhere men are laughing, and somewhere children shout. But there's no joy in Mudville. Mighty Casey has struck out. Mudville is a section of Holliston, which is uh, just off the main road. And I'm going to read a little um, historical marker here. At Holliston Town Meeting on March 17th, 1856, on St. Patrick's Day, the first public usage of the word Mudville to describe this neighborhood of Irish immigrants was publicly recorded thereby making it the first known Mudville in the United States. Halston was a hotbed for baseball as early as in uh, the 1850s, including a team named the Irish Athletic Club. On June 5, 1857, the Halston Winthrop Club beat the Boston Olympic Club 100-27, to a real pitching duel, huh, on the Boston Common. The author of Casey at the Bat, Ernest L. Thayer, was born in Lawrence, Massachusetts and attended Harvard College in Boston. The poem was first published on June 3, 1888. Thayer's family owned a summer home in nearby Menden, and his mother family, the Darlings, owned and operated a wool mill on Woodland Street, only a mile down the railroad track from here. The rest is history. Now, there is a claim in uh, Stockton, California, where I guess the author also lived, uh, that they say the Mudville Nine was from there. But anyway, interesting history. A little off the beaten trail. And to learn more about Camp Constitution and its annual family camp, visit us on our website, campconstitution.net.